welcome back to the channel welcome back to another lspdf tutorial so in this tutorial guys we're gonna go ahead and install a new stretcher in our game all right i think the default one is a little bit sketchy so we're gonna go ahead and replace it with the new one so i'm gonna go ahead uh I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link in the description for this one and of course you're gonna go ahead and click this blue button right here and download this stretcher as you can see the new stretcher model right here so this is what you're gonna be downloading right here all right so make sure you get that downloaded and then i will see you at my desktop as you can see right now the first thing that we're gonna need to do is open up our open iv i'm just gonna leave it right here uh before we can do anything else all right and then we're gonna go ahead and open up our new stretcher file that we just downloaded all right i'm gonna go ahead and unzip my files like i always do and then i'm gonna go ahead and bring this one to the side over here all right so we're gonna go ahead and open up this file right here as you can see we're gonna be replacing these three um files in there all right let's go ahead and read the readme so that we can find the pathway for this and the pathway for this is going to be this one right here all right let me go ahead and leave this to the side over here i guess benzo actually i don't know if he made this he took it from somewhere i don't know but as you can see it says benzo right here so shout out to benzo for putting this out right here all right so let's go ahead and follow this pathway right here so we're going to go ahead and go to mods all right so if you don't have this um on your mods folder uh what you're gonna need to do is come over here as you can see we're gonna need to go to x64c all right you're gonna go ahead and go to x64c and then we're gonna go ahead and go to levels gta5 and then we're gonna go ahead and go to uh props right here and then we're gonna go to lev under uh lev <laughs> underscore devs and then we're gonna go ahead and go to lev, uh, lev underscore devs again rpf is going to be this one at the top over here and then when you get to this point go ahead and activate your edit mode all right you're going to go ahead and get this red banner right here just go, go ahead and copy this to your mods folder all right i already have it on my mods folder so let me go ahead and close to the, uh, this archive right here so i'm going to go ahead and go to my mods all right and then we're going to go to x64c right here and then we're going to go to levels gta5 um props and then lev underscore des and then les uh lev underscore des rpf right here it's gonna be the top one so we're gonna go ahead and work with this file right here all right so like i always want to do uh i think we are pretty much done with the readme over here so let's open up this file right here and see what the hell is going on here uh i like to see what the hell i'm replacing most of the time i try, I try to do this so let me go to the search bar over here i'm just gonna go ahead and try prop underscore ld underscore or is it prop i say pro god damn son and then underscore um did i put the underscore there yep underscore bin bag just like that and then we're gonna go ahead and you can see the mat this name over here matches with this name over here i just want to see what the hell i'm replacing uh before i put these files in there all right so let's go ahead and put and uh, open this one up and see what it is so i guess we're going to be replacing this bag here with a stretcher all right i don't really think you need this in your game so if you want you can go ahead and save this somewhere uh just in case you want to go ahead and replace it but i don't know it's up to you but for me i don't i'm not gonna re i'm not i don't think i'm gonna be replacing that so let me go ahead and highlight both uh all of these three files right here and then i'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop them in there all right so now if i open this file right here it should show us a bin back or maybe that's not the one i'm not sure all right so let's go ahead and open the top one all right so that would be the stretcher that we are replacing here today all right so this is it right here let me go ahead and open this one over here and see what it is all right that's the stretcher again all right uh so that would be the, this will be only the texture of it 
all right so i guess we are done with that so let's go ahead and close our edit mode and close all archives over here and then uh, go ahead and take out the search bar over there we are done with um with that open iv right now uh but before we can go to the game and check this out we're gonna need to go into our gonna go ahead and need to open your gta 5 main directory let me go ahead and open that up uh we are pretty much done with this we're gonna need to modify a few things here and uh, we're gonna go ahead and go into plugins lspdf and then we're gonna go ahead and scroll down to um stop the pad configuration file right here i'm gonna go ahead and open this up and the easiest way to find this you're gonna need to uh control f all right control f and then here you're gonna search for stretcher or an ambulance all right let me just go ahead and type ambulance like that and then i'm gonna go ahead and find until i find the thing that i'm looking for so be twice four times so right here so this is the one that we are looking for right here it says the stretcher prop model name to uh used by the ambulance paramedic right here this is where you need to be right here so as you can see right here we already see this name uh that we just um what the hell is this over here all right let me no i, I can't close this right now uh let me go ahead and open this up here real quick and show you what it, what i'm talking about all right so if you take a look at this name right here prop underscore id underscore beanbag zero one so this is the name that you find right here all right so go ahead and highlight this name right here i'm gonna go ahead and control c or copy that and then of course over here where it says default we're gonna go ahead and uh erase that default and just paste that line that that name right there all right so go ahead and paste that name right there after you're done with that just go ahead and save all right so that's for stop the pad and now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing over here um on ultimate backup depending on whether you're gonna be using if you are using stop the pad to call for ambulance only then you are done but if sometimes you're gonna go ahead and find yourself using ultimate backup to call for an ambulance uh so if you want that stretcher to show up so you're gonna go ahead and need to make the change on your ultimate backup again all right so let's go ahead and open this up and then we're gonna go ahead and control f all right as you can see the word ambulance is already there so let me go ahead and just find what i'm looking for over here all right so here we go again we're gonna go ahead and find this line over here the stretcher the stretcher prop model name uh used by the ambulance paramedics right here all right so we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing copy this and go ahead and put it over here uh, and erase the word default just like that and then i'm gonna go ahead and save just like that all right so we are pretty much done uh installing our stretcher now we can pretty much go ahead and jump into the game and see how this one is going to work out for us and see if we actually install the same uh the what we installed is going to work or not all right let's go ahead and jump into the game here real quick Alrighty, guys we are in the game now for some reason i found this guy knocked out over here and i had to kind of help him out here a little bit all right so i'm gonna go ahead and call an ambulance using uh ultimate backup all right so i'm gonna go ahead and press my b and of course we're gonna go ahead and get the ultimate backup menu right here so let me go ahead and call an ambulance for this guy all right so when the ambulance gets over here we're gonna see what kind of stretcher they're gonna be they're gonna be using all right which one are they coming from like they're coming over this way i still i still haven't fixed that issue where <laughs> the ambulance becomes inv invisible like that i don't know maybe it's the actual file of the game or something like that maybe i need to replace it i don't know but let's go ahead and wait for this uh <laughs> that looks so stupid <laughs> <laughs> that looks so stupid but anyways they're gonna go ahead and check out of this guy here real quick and they're gonna go ahead and take him to the hospital and uh, we're gonna take a look and see what stretcher they're using all right let's go ahead and wait for them to do their thing over here what the hell are you doing mate 
go ahead and take this guy man all right so there you go as you can see the stretcher that you're using that's the one that we just installed right here so that that looks pretty cool all right that looks pretty cool all right so now we're gonna go ahead and try to use uh ultimate backup i mean um s uh stop the pad all right uh maybe we can go ahead and use this lady over here let's just go ahead and uh initiate a stop for this lady right here all right hey what's going on ma'am can i get your id for a minute so we're gonna go ahead and uh yeah probably need to take that vehicle out <laughs> i don't know what's wrong with that vehicle but anyways uh let's go ahead and uh use uh stop the pad to call an ambulance for this lady so i'm gonna go ahead and scroll down here as you can see it says request escort vehicle i'm just gonna scroll down until i find the ambulance all right so now let's go ahead and use um so as you can see it's a different um you'll find that uh it's a different marker when you use stop the pad uh or when you use um ultimate backup all right so the ambulance is right here so they're gonna go ahead and pick up this lady here real quick and you're gonna go ahead and see that uh the stretcher is very very much the same so if you installed uh your your stretcher the way i showed you how to do it it should look something like this all right what the hell are they doing <laughs> it should pretty much look something like this right here all right all right somebody knocked out their door there for <laughs> for some reason i don't know but anyways that will really uh if you find it that uh work for you what the fuck what the fuck are you doing you're lucky i'm on a tutorial right now or else i'll be pulling your ass over but anyways guys thank you so much for watching and this will pretty much conclude this tutorial right here so if it helped you out to install the new stretcher into your game consider subscribing to the channel drop a like on the video and please do comment down below because there's gonna be more of these tutorials coming your way every single time all right so thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys